Well, hello, everyone, and welcome back to Death Spank Orphans of Justice, where we will be, hopefully, and very likely, finishing this game. But there's one, th one thing that I have not shown off yet that I would like to show off, and that is the two-player mode of this. There's a second, um, you can have a second character here if you have a second controller. I have a second controller here with me, and I want to show you this other character. I press start. Here is Sparkles the Wizard. Sparkles the Wizard is an old friend that can drop in to help me dish out justice. He can inflict pain on our enemies with fire, or even heal me when I'm in battle. All around a swell guy. Sparkles the Wizard is Death Spank's magical companion. He has the ability to heal and has other magical attacks to help dish out justice. Um, uh, hmm. There we go. Okay, so there he is. Let's zo zoom in a little bit. There he is. He has four attacks there, as you can see on the right side. One is healing. He can, and his, as you, as Deathspank levels up, he also levels up his abilities and his magic. And that's what makes it a lot easier, too. When you have two, a two-player, you have another person, you can heal and you can do attacks. He can make a clone of himself to go after enemies. He just runs around. This one is fire. You gotta hold that down. And then... Just a standard range attack. So he's he's pretty powerful, to be honest. Uh, when my sister and I have played through this game, that is what we did. We've played... You know, she played as the secondary character, and then I always played as Death Spank, so... Yeah, if you're going to play this game, you have another character, you can do that. You can do two, two player, and it's pretty nice. Now, in the second and third game of the Death Spank series, there are other characters you can play as. So, we will be checking those out when we get, get, get to them. But let's go ahead and drop out now. Yep, we're going solo. We gotta go solo here. So, let's take a quick look at our map. That, that's not our map. Where's our map? There's our map, okay. So we don't have too much left to go, actually. So we have some quests here at the Wretched Village, and we have to go up from here, and then we're heading into an area we have, uh, well, the Castle Von Prong, very close to the end there. So, we also have the, the, what's the place called? The uh, Enchanted forest to go through. Okay, I think I've already been been down this way, so let's just go up then. And let's try to get these last remaining quests. Bunch of fire here. Nothing too crazy. Okay, so it looks like we're heading into the cave now. Hello, Spelunker. Greetings, Spelunker! Please. Enter that horrific cave over there and retrieve a crystal sample for me. All right, let's go get this crystal sample. Oh, we got a bunch of chisers in here. Oh gosh! Tons of these guys. There we go. Yo. He stopped me. Okay. There we go. We got his crystal sample. Now, yep, that was all of them. Now, we do have a few spare golden treasure chest keys as well. But I don't know if we will really even use them. We haven't really used too much of... Well, we have a lot of treasure chests that we have not been able to go to. Because we haven't had the keys, and I'm not going to go back and try to get them. Greetings, Spelunker! Do you have any crystal samples for me yet? Indeed! A wretched cave crystal! <laughs> Looks good! See you at the next cave! Hello, Ryan. Nice to see you here. I'm, for some reason, not seeing your chat message in my other thing here. Hopefully it'll all go through now, but great to see you here. As we're finishing up these two games. Okay, looks like we have another cave right up here. It's like, dude, you were just at this other cave. And now we're at this cave, too. 
Field of donkeys. Where are these donkeys? I don't, it's too quiet. This looks ominous. This looks very ominous. Okay, Spelunker, here you are yet again. Greetings, Spelunker! Please, enter the cave over there and retrieve a crystal sample for me. Sabertooth crystal, here we go. Are there Sabertooth tigers in here? Yes, there is. Uh, hmm. Well, if that's the case... Well, that killed two, two of them. That's our, our orb. Our special orb that we have. But I don't think you get experience from them, and they don't drop any items. That's the downside of using the orb. Okay, there we go, another crystal. Oh darn, I should, shouldn't have even bothered to eat, because you always heal up after you've completed a quest. There's no point to actually healing. Greetings, Spelunker! Do you have any crystal samples for me yet? Indeed! A Sabertooth Cave Crystal! <laughs> Excellent! See you at the next cave! That means I think there's one more cave left. I think we've done five Spelunker quests. We have two golden treasure chest keys as well. We also have a decent amount here to do. We also have a few more tin cans to get. Okay, that was pretty much this area over here. And there's also a... What does it say? A demonic, demonic stone? It doesn't look like, like there's anything there, though. I mean, it's just a bunch of demonic stones. But anyway, that's actually... Let's take a look at our quest one more time. So what else do we have to do? We have to find find Ubrick's hero license that he lost while running away from the ancient ogre champion. Okay, wretched diary. So we have a few more things to do here. Oh, we have not been down there yet. Okay, there's like a swamp area right over here. It is down from here. Here we go, let's head into the swamp. Tons of chizzards. See, this would be a good time for Sparkles to come in, because then Sparkles could hear me instead of me having to heal. Get rid of all these chizzards. There we go. place isn't really big, this swamp area. And I still and I still see uh, Sparkle's dead body over there. Well, we just got a new axe. Well, Thunder Stomp Club. Take a look how strong that is. Oh, that's right. That, that one doesn't have strength. But we gotta get our cheeseburgers. Dead Adventurers. We're getting plenty of the Dead Adventurers. That's good. So we got some okay dead adventurer notes. Definitely gotta take a look at those. Note to self: I have the key to this chizzard sire ch treasure chest. Now, just to open the chest like so, and then he died. Poor man, he died. Is that all that was really over here? I guess so. You gotta find that woman's journal. So Ryan, that's exactly the same thing that I went through. They deleted a video, I heard back and they said they, th that they will not reinstate it, and they give no explanation as to why. They just say, oh, this video violates the policies. How so? You know, oh, it, it, it's hate speech, it's violent, it's conspiracy theory, or, or whatever else that they say. And they say, can you give me exact examples of this? Silence. Because they, they know that they can't give any examples because they know it's not true. 
it's like, well, in, um, yeah. We don't have any examples for you. Sorry. Here's another dead adventure up here. Adventurer's Journal. Lord Von Prong has paid me to put decorative holes in his family's boats. He promises me great rewards and endless silence. What could go wrong? You're dead? That's what went wrong. Where's this darn journal they were looking for? She said it was across uh, she was said it was around where the train tracks were. I think the train tracks. Where were the train tracks? Oh, here here are the train tracks right here. Oh, I see something here. Stone garden, please don't pick up stones. Must get all the stones. There we go. Stone 205. I believe that was for someone else at the wretched place. That's why you always keep backups of the videos. YouTube did just a major purge of their of videos the other day. So that's a why all those videos are being removed without any reason whatsoever. Okay, there, there was the diary, and there's also one more stone somewhere. What did we, we didn't get all, all the stones, did we? We got the diary. We have one more, one more stone to find. Let's, let's find this stone. Yeah, you know, I, I think just YouTube is mostly run just by people who are very overly sensitive. I'm sure that's me saying that is going to offend them, and now they're going to remove my uh, video here for saying that when this goes up on YouTube. Okay, so we have two of those things now complete. Let's head over. Actually, we should take a peek into her diary. Remember, she said not to read it. Dear diary, today I met the most charming orc. He's so dreamy. I wonder if he likes me. Wow. You know it does look and and it, it you know it does look a little tasty. Greetings, filthy person. I have returned with your savory stones for stone soup. Savory is the word indeed. Thank you, Deathbank. It would be nice if we could add flavor to our stone soup. Even the most basic ingredient would be helpful. Might I suggest chicken feet? Oh, a brilliant suggestion, Death Spank. All right, now we got to get chicken feet for him. Greetings, wretched woman. Here is your little book of secrets. It took you long enough. I'm going to reread it right from the beginning. Oh, we just got an achievement. I think that's for completing most of the side quests. In development ring. That's not, that's not even as good as the one that we have. Okay. So Ryan, you, you, you said... You say because it was about UFOs. Yeah, that just doesn't make any sense. Big deal, right? Why is that against the policy? Chickens. Okay. Wretched dirt. Trap widow spiders. Where were the trap widow spiders? I remember them. Oh, I think that they were over this. Were they over that that way by Turtle Lake? They might have been. I remember the trap widow spiders for sure. Let's take a look. The trap widow spiders had like diamonds. Really don't need to be fighting you, you guys, but what the heck? I'm 
gives me some experience. I think that gave me a decent amount of experience too. There we go. Because we're approaching the end, so I want to get to level 20 before Lord Von Prong. Okay, I don't think the trap of spiders are down here. Not entirely sure where they are, I forget exactly. I don't think that they were in the no, they they, they weren't in the haunted forest. Because that was the other kind of spiders, those termites. I don't know. I'm sure we'll stumble across them again soon. But now we must get chicken feet. Any chickens around here? Chickens? Yep, there are some chickens around here. I know who has a lot of chickens. Right in the very beginning of the game when we uh, saw Lord, uh, Witch Haven Stance. And we killed all of, all of her chickens. Back here, stupid chicken. Must get your feet. Yeah, so we're just pretty much just cleaning up the rest of these side quests here. There isn't much, much to go. There's a few more chickens here. Any more chickens? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, well, well, we are close, but I guess in the meantime, let's actually... I guess we're head to the, uh, the haunted... not at the haunted, the enchanted forest. See what we can do there. Although, we should probably get... find out where these trap widow spiders are. Let's actually use our hint on this. I haven't used many hints, so may as well. Look for dirt mounds in the spider infestation area south of I'm a Shrunken's Farm. Oh, okay, well that uh, cleared it up right there. Okay, so I guess it's down that way. Okay. So we just had to go over to the left and then head down to get him. Think about how close we are to the end of this. It's crazy. Okay, so we gotta go through this orc camp again. I don't think that there would be any chickens here, but if there are... Then... We must get their feet. Okay, here they are. Oh, and we missed a dead adventurer here, too. Let's see what he has to say. Note to self, the demon witch told me there is a stash of treasure chests nearby, but to watch out for falling rocks. We did fight that rock demon here, that, that rock man. Okay, let's keep looking for this dirt. The dirt has to be around here somewhere. I'd imagine it would be these dirt mounds, but here we go. Dirt mound. One of three. Okay, here's the next one. 
Okay, one more. There it is. Great. Okay. Now I might have missed a few dead dead adventurers along the way. Because they're kind of hard to spot, especially if I have these cameras zoomed out like I normally do. Now if I zoom in, it'll be fine. Oh, here's the man where we killed his friend, the Blinky. Oh, we could have just teleported to this outhouse. Would have been easier. Oh well. Let's go get him his dirt. And then all we gotta do is get some more chicken legs. Hopefully the chickens respawn over here. I can go get their legs now. Greetings, wretched man. I have quote unquote dirt for you. Oh, this is superb. You can really taste the spider. Wonderful. Okay, chickens, are you back? Yes, you you must be back because your the orc family is here. There we go. We have all their chicken feet. Okay, let's go turn in chicken feet. Greetings, filthy person. Here are your chicken feet. Bon appetite. Oh, these are magnificent poultry appendages. Thank you, Death Bank. Hmm. You are very effective at bringing us what we need for our stone soup. You know, we used to eat turtle caviar. I guess I could go get you some turtle caviar. Very good. Chop, chop. All right, we're still hunting stuff down for him. My guess is right over here at the beach, the turtle beach. Let's go get the turtle caviar. <laughs> oh my gosh. We just killed all these darn turtles too. There you go, we got it. That was quick. We didn't get to hear the upbeat music for too long. It was just... Then it got depressing music. Greetings, filthy person. I have your turtle caviar, shockingly poor person. Well, this isn't quite as good as I'm accustomed to, but it will do. Thank you for trying, Deathbank. Oh, you better eat that. Oh, Deathbank. I think it's time we tasted the forbidden meat the upper elite have only heard tales of. Live saber-tooth donkey. Sure, I'll bring you a living saber-tooth donkey. Then be gone and return with the forbidden meat known as long ass. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I think we know where that... <laughs> I think we know where that, uh... That donkey is. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's head up here. The donkey should be up here somewhere. And we gotta bring him back. It alive, too. We cannot kill it. There it is. Give it to donkey, let's go. Come on. Almost there. Someone's gonna eat you, you poor donkey. I bring to you the terrifying saber-toothed donkey. 
Well, it's about time, heroic peon. Now, get out of my way, fool, so I can devour this creature! Wow, he's like magical. Greetings, filthy person. Since okay, I'm not gonna ask him about anything. Fella. That was interesting. Okay. <laughs> Let's get rid of some of this other stuff that we don't need. We don't need these rings. I'm gonna get rid of this. Oh, this lightning rod. Let's see, it's 920 attack. Do I want to give up my spinning blade? I, I love the spinning blade. I, th um, I think I want to keep the spinning blade. Spinning blade, I, I, th I think, is better. Get rid of these pizzas. Okay, so we don't have many more quests left. Let's take a look. So we have some of these in the Enchanted Forest. I'm going to go to the Haunted Mansion and kill the... Great, uh... The Gretchen Havisance and her get the wizard chisel recipe back. Haunted Mansion. Okay, we were our we were already there at one point. So I guess that is our next quest to clean up here. Yeah, there isn't much left to do. Haunted Lake. I think Haunted Lake is probably the closest to where we need to go. Yeah, the Haunted Mansion's right over here. Skeletons should be pretty easy, and they are. Especially with our crossbow. I'm not even sure who even wanted this quest. Some of these quests we don't it's like it's like you get but you don't do right away, so There we go. Okay, one more recipe, there it is. Okay. So who actually wanted that? Hmm. I didn't remember who wanted that. I have no idea. Who wanted that quest? Then we look at the, okay, well, there's no one in this part of the map. Maybe it's the next part of the map. I'll have to look and see. As I said, I do not remember who <laughs> who wanted that quest. All right, let's go check over in this area. One there. Maybe this Gretchen is Miss Havenstance's sister. I just think it's harder just to figure out who requested this. Well, I guess in the meantime, that we need to figure out who the ancient orc ogre champion is. Let's take a look. Find a particularly smelly area near Pluckmuckle. Okay, so let's actually head over near Pluckmuckle. I know where I know where where it is now. Okay, Pluckmuckle. So what? There is like a trash area, and that's where this ogre champion is. Anyone here who wouldn't know? Who wanted that darn quest? These, these these guys are going to be so easy. Just going to walk past them. There's no point in even fighting them. Okay, I think it's right back here. Oh look, there's actually a treasure chest here that we have not been able to get yet. 
Oh, there's actually some good uh, stuff there. Yeah, we actually got something better for once. Nice, okay. Ogre land. Well, this is ogre land here. Okay, maybe we need to just explore around this trash... trash area. Okay, wait a minute. There's a... Here, a license. There we go. We got it. Let's go ahead and turn that into him now. These guys can hardly do any damage to me. It's great. Okay, we have a Thongolith researcher to do in the Enchanted Forest. So we got the mayor's quest to do, which we're very close to being done. The lost and found is... The lost... <laughs> the lost and found is... Okay, that that is very strange, Ryan. I have no idea. Old man Ubrick, I found your hero license. Thank you, young man. I can die with full hero honors now. I feel like doing one more side quest for you. Then that's it. Excellent. When I was adventuring, my arch nemesis was an ogre champion. If I'm going to close out my quest log, I need you to kill him. There might be an achievement in it for me. Kill Ubrick's final boss. My guess is that it's still over in the trash place. It's an overland. That is my guess. And then our quests are coming to a very close end here. These people are like inside of each other. Look, look at that. What are they doing to each other? Hmm. There we go. They're just showing some public display d display of affection. That's all that they're doing. Okay, Ogre, I'm coming for you. There he is. Oh my gosh, he's massive. Look at that guy. What level is he? Level 17? I was laughing because of how easy that guy was, because we did it at such a high level. Equip a melee ice weapon and a fist of bashing and use them at the same time when the Justice Mater is full to trigger a powerful unique attack. Ancient Ogre Club. Encrusted with foul substances and the occasional tooth. No self respecting hero would be caught dead using this as a weapon. Alright, so this should be the final quest for you, Brick. I think we have five more cans left for the mayor, so hopefully we'll be able to find them soon. I don't know why I'm killing the chickens. All right, here we go. Greetings, old man Ubrick. The ancient ogre champion has been slain. Easily. Great. My quest log is complete. I can die a less bitter old man now. Goodbye, Ubrick. All righty. What's these? Choose a recipe. Oh, it's 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 the wizard. Okay. That actually, I was kind of thinking maybe it was was the wizard, but I wasn't entirely sure. So that solved that. Okay, let's go turn the, that into the wizard. Then I think we're gonna head into the enchanted forest. I am the wizard. All right, wizard, where are you? There he is. Greetings, wizard of magic. I have acquired your recipe from the witch, wizard. Great. Let's see if it's all here. 
Oh, this isn't good at all. The chiseled recipe doesn't seem to work. I'm going to need my eyeball recipe too. Great. This is totally my kind of thing. It's at my old tower just east of Pluckmuckle. But, but, but you'll need this key to get in. Alright, looks like we're going to break into his old... Oh gosh, look at, look at the key too. His old place in Pluckmuckle. Okay, so where is his place? Not there. And that is, uh, Bong's Potion Shop, okay. That it was east, so... He did, he did say east, right? Let's see a minute. Key to the Wizard's Old Estate, long since overrun with eyeball monsters. Oh, right, okay, so it's not even really in this town, it's more over this way. I remember that. It's over in this, this direction. Yeah, this is where all the eyeball monsters were. Isn't there an out outhouse here that says eyeball outhouse or something? I think so. Okay. Is it more over over this way? It might be. No, it wasn't it wasn't that far over. Okay, we gotta find out where his place was. Don't you eyeball? It might be down here. Oh, yep, yep, this is it right here. Give me these eyeballs first. Alright. Oh, gosh, gigantic eyeball. Oh, that does a lot of damage. Pulsing images! Oh my gosh, that thing is powerful. Okay, we gotta be careful of that. It has like a wig on too. Okay, we gotta teleport to the closer outhouse. Wow, that thing was was powerful there. So it's in like just a few hits. Alright. Let's use extreme caution when approaching this gigantic eyeball. Oh, we got another tin can. I didn't even see that one there. That's good. Four left. Four tin cans left. Hey, where is this darn thing? Hey, what? Well, there, there's his recipe, but where's that gigantic eyeball? I must kill it. Oh, we got some good stuff. Where'd the giant eyeball go? I wanted to kill it, darn. Okay, well I guess it's not. I guess it's gone. Well, that sucks. Bet that eyeball had something good, too. That's awesome to hear, Ryan. Just, uh... Keep it up. Oh, is that the gigantic eyeball? 
No, it's just the, the little eyeballs. I guess now that I opened the cage, maybe the gigantic eyeball is around somewhere else. I don't know, I just really want to kill, kill that gigantic eyeball. Darn. Nowhere in sight. Alright, let's get back to the wizard. Hopefully this is his last quest. Greetings, Wizard of Magic. I have returned with your eyeball recipe. Oh, but you're going to love this. Wait, that's not right. The eyeball recipe was a bust as well. Which means the bear lope recipe must be the answer. You invented the bear lopes as well? Oh, what a crazy night that was. <laughs> I must have left the recipe in my backyard somewhere. Well, then you can go get it, man. There they are. Where are these darn recipes? Gosh, they, they stun me and they do a lot of damage. Okay, let's find this recipe. His backyard is pretty big. Oh, here it is. Oh, one of three. Okay. These bear lopes. Can't stand them. Gosh, when that charge, when they do that charge attack, that really gets rid of my special justice ability. All right, there's the final piece. Just wanna snag that, and I guess I'll, I'll I'll kill these guys too. Actually, actually, let's try something we have not done in a while. Actually, I only have one of those, so I'd rather not. I don't, I don't need that one at all. Crossbow. <laughs> I used the weakest crossbow for most of the game, and then I got a much better one. There we go. And we have a lot of golden treasure chest keys now. Did we get the gold treasure chest over here? We did, okay. Alright, well hopefully this is the last quest for the wizard. Because he's being very needy. He wants us to get all these recipes for him. Alright, let's go turn it in. See, now, because it was in his own backyard, he could have just been looking for it himself. He really, really could have. Greetings, Wizard of Magic. Here are the Biralope recipe pages. Just three pages? Well, I suppose I can just wing it. Hmm. Uh, well, Deathspank, it turns out that bear lobes aren't the answer either. Oh my gosh. Combine the three recipes together. I'm going to need a special ingredient for this to work. What do you require? A piece of a unicorn. Uh, they live in the enchanted forest. Any piece will do. Your goodness is nasty. That's actually perfect, because we're heading right to the Enchanted Forest right now. Alright, let's go ahead and... Finally, we can explore the Enchanted Forest. As we get our first bit adventure here. Note to self, there is treasure off the beaten path in the Enchanted Forest, but watch out for the unicorns. Indeed, that's why I saved this area, because the unicorns are very tough here. Level 20 these unicorns are. 
So when you first visit this area, it's like they they keep talking about it like like this is this is the next area to go. Oh my gosh. Like this is the next area to go, but everything is just too powerful for you to actually do anything here. And as you can say I still even even died. There we go, a bit of unicorn. There we go. I think we're turn turn that quest into him last. Actually, you know what? Let's just go ahead and do it now, just in case he wants something else. So yeah, all these errands with with this wizard. All right, we we have your we have your unicorn, ma'am. There you go. Greetings, wizard of magic. I have the piece of unicorn you asked for. Is that okay? Uh, a little cliche, to be honest, but I suppose that will have to do. Well, goodness alone isn't the answer. I need a piece of pure evil. I know he needed something else. Well, a bit of demon suffice, wizard. Oh, good idea. You're so smart sometimes. I'll need a piece from a dark lord demon. None other will do. Oh my gosh, he wants so much, but we're not going to attend to him right now. We're going to explore the Enchanted Forest. And we're about to get a level up too, so that'll be good. These guys really pack a punch. Okay, that one didn't even do anything to me there. Oh, what is this over here? Oh, gingerbread man, huh? Gingerbread wild man. See that there's more behind there. Gingerbread man. There's also an orphan in the Enchanted Forest, too. So we will be sure to rescue the orphan. Anything else over here? Any more cans? See, the gingerbread men are very easy. They're just level one. But those, those unicorns are dangerous. Yeah, look at, look at these suckers right here. Oh gosh. Okay, there we go. Treasure chest. Darn it, I moved. Let's see. Ryan says, cheap Batman joke for you. Batman, no, no how could really take a shot, Joker. Your parents. I don't get that at all. <laughs> Shamrock Flyer. Let's take a look at the Shamrock Flyer as Ryan's going to explain. Friendly Leprechaun Family Values Council. Reminder, do not feed the rabbit gnomes. Parents were shot in an alley. It's a cheap joke. Oh, that's a mean joke. Hello there, rabbit gnomes. Oh gosh, they really are rabbit, aren't they? There we go, level 19. This bank's uh, toughest of brawlers. This bank breaks the, breaks the glass jaws of evil. Health, damage, and blocking time have increased. We have 20% more range damage.
Enchanted Outhouse. Okay, oh, here we go. Long list of uh, Justice here, the Enchanted Logging Camp. Leper Colony. Nice. Okay, another shamrock flyer, huh? Is exactly the same? Leprechaun Family Values Council. Remember, reminder, do not mention the orphan or else. Okay, here we go. Let's get this thong a lift here. I believe this is the last thong lift as well, so then we would have completed that. Pretty easy. How much money we have? 16 million. Oh, I'm sorry. 1.6 million. I remember when I died at these Thongolith before, but no, not now. Also, we also need to get a few more of those cans. Those trash, trash can things. Talking tree outhouse. Oh, look at that. Look at that talking tree. Mushroom disguise. There we go. Okay, well, before we, uh... Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. Let's just go ahead and, and talk to him. Greetings, Talking Tree. Mm, and salutations to you, Deathspank. You know my name? Mm, of course I do. The wind and the rain speak of your heroic deeds. Finally! Mm, I beg of you. Please wreak your justice upon the abominable orc loggers for cutting down all my friends. I do enjoy a good reeking. Bring me their foul plaid shirts as proof of the deed. Then I collect some plaid shirts. Such an odd quest. I see the plaid shirt. There they are. How dare you cut down the talking tree. The other talking tree and his brothers and his family. Oh, I, I see another trash uh, can thing. Oh, nice, nice. Give me those plaid shirts. Two more cans. And give me all this enchanted logs. All we need left is just one more can. Hey, give me that plaid shirt, man. Thank you. Well, what, what am I saying thank you to you? No. You just give it to me. Oh, I see the orphan, too. Let's get, let's get excess flat shirts. There we go. Alright. Let's go return the plaid shirts to the talking tree. Mm. 
Greetings, Talking Tree. I have the plaid shirts for you. You live up to your reputation, Deathsbank. My perennial friends are safe once again. Night in the forest is cold and lonely. I could really use a sock. Then a heroic sock you will have. Any particular color? Surprise me. We gotta get a sock for a talking tree. Just think about that for a moment. Just think about that for a moment. Is the orphan free or do we have to... The big leprechaun leader has the key to this cage! Alright, stingy orphan. Okay, our final can, too. We're just finishing these side quests. Gosh, they stun me. There's the Leprechaun leader. Gellis Undead Runestone. Equip a melee undeath weapon and a stamp stamping warhammer and use them at the same time. Yes, yes, we know. Any unlock any achievement for the cans? No, I did did not. I unlocked the achievement a while back for completing all the side quests, but there are still many more side quests, so I don't understand it. Or maybe it's complete a certain amount of the side quest. Yeah, let me just see what that achievement was. The previous one that I got when I was doing the wretched area. Let's take a look. It was... Oh, finish 50 side quests. Okay. Yeah, we still have a few more achievements to go. I wasn't actually expecting it to take this long, but... Here I thought I was going to complete it in an hour, but no, it's, like it's going to run over that. We didn't get the key, though, for the orphan. I guess we did, I just never saw it. Are you here to rescue me, mister? I sure am. I sure am. Woohoo! Thought we'd do something nice that time. Normally we don't do anything nice. But we are. Okay, we got another cave over here. There are leprechauns. Okay, Spelunker. Greetings, Spelunker! Please, enter that horrific cave over there and retrieve a crystal sample for me. Can do. I think this is the last Spelunker. Darn these leprechauns. I don't have a key to open the safety deposit chest. Oh, that's a special key. Okay. There's a safety deposit chest? That's really interesting. Alright, here you go, Spelunker. Greetings, Spelunker! Do you have any crystal samples for me yet? Indeed! An enchanted forest crystal! Groovy! <laughs> Thanks for all your help! My collection is now complete! And we got the achievement Man in the Hole for getting all of the Spelunker quests complete. Okay, so I don't know what that safety thing is. That I do not know, but we need to get rid of some of this inventory. Big time. Look at the money we have. Too bad real real life isn't isn't like that, right? Okay, let's take a look. 
Okay, we have a lot of these quests to turn in here. And we also have this sock puppet. Collect the sock for the talking tree of the Enchanted Forest. Let's get a hint on this. Let's see, the sock is very, is very near the talking tree. Very near to the talking tree. Okay. My guess is that it's probably like right next to the, the darn talking tree. Wait, this is the, yeah, this is the right way. Is the sock behind you, talking tree? It might be. No, it's not okay. But it is very, very near, it says. Let's see what our other, other hint says about it. Searching the main path in the enchanted, enchanted logging camp. Okay, so it's pretty much the same area that we went to. May as well start using some of these hints because we are approaching the very, very end here. Okay, where's that sock? There it is. It's kind of hard to see. Okay, here you go, talking tree. Here is your, your sock to keep you warm at night. Ryan says, if real life were like the games, I'd be grinding up all this loose ends around my house. Yes. Greetings, talking tree. Here's just a darling suck for you. Forsooth, that is really nice. You know what I miss from my sapling days? Reading the book. The Giving Tree with my dad. Let me find a copy for you. Okay, now we gotta find the Giving Tree. My guess is that it's gonna be over this, this area as well. Oh, look, look at this guy. There it is. Don't tell me he's just gonna have us do like a bunch of quests back and forth here. Greetings, Talking Tree. Here is a copy of the Giving Tree, just like you asked. I can't wait to get started on it. Next, I require a thumb deck for scrapbooking. Oh, this needy tree. Rare and dangerous commodity. My guess, again, is going to be right over here. These guys are respawning. I see the thumbtack. Is there any information about these darn things? This is encrusted with a, s a selection of precious... No, wait, that's nothing. Yeah, there is so much dialogue in this game. It's a shame that I haven't been reading all of it, but... Uh, yeah, that's just how it is. I guess the real question is, are we going to be able to get to level 20 before we fight Lord Von Prong? Greetings, Talking Tree. Here's your thumbtack. It is just the way I like them. One pointy end and one flat bit. <laughs> you have aided the enchanted forest breathe Death's Bank. Now the forest requires the album live at Budokan. <laughs> Not exactly the request I expected. I almost saw them in concert once. Oh my gosh. This is a talking tree. There it is, I see it. Live and <laughs> oh, as far as live albums go, this one is spectacular. Greetings, Talking Tree. I have that Live at Budokan album you asked for. Thank you. Tonight, the forest will stand still with excitement. You know what would be awesome here? A black light. A black light? It would really tie the forest 
together. Wow. He really wants a lot. Where's the black light? There it is, I see it. Why does he want so much stuff? I think it's just to fill up your experience meter. Because look how much our experience meter has increased since we've been doing this for him. Greetings, talking tree. Here is the blackest light I could find. <laughs> this is going to set some sweet mood. You know, even us wise old trees need motivation sometimes. Why don't you go find me a poster that says Keep on Truckin'? I'll bring you a Keep on Truckin' poster! Right on. Okay, talking tree. I've had enough of walking slightly to the left and then going slightly back to the right. And it literally has a truck on it. Fantastic. Greetings, Talking Tree. I have for you one poster reading Keep on Truckin'. Now I can keep on trucking for centuries. Thank you for all your help, Heroic Deathspank. Oh, fantastic, finally. Okay, now let's go turn in the disguise here to this leprechaun. We are so close, it's crazy. I found the cutest little thing for you. A mushroom? I swear I'd never dress like one again, but I don't have a choice. I'm gonna turn fairy state's evidence and become a gnome in exchange for my freedom. Go to my cave and get the incriminating evidence I left behind. Cave evidence, got it. Take this key. You'll need it to get into my safety deposit chest. Ah, okay. It's a rainbow key. So that is what the safety deposit chest is. Our experience is about halfway to be getting to level 20. We're almost there. <laughs> this is mostly just just been wrapping up the side quests. All right. Here we go. Right, let's go give this to him. Hopefully he won't want a bunch of stuff like that tree. If he does, I'm just gonna... Oh. <laughs> I don't know. That tree was very, very, very annoying. But at least we got tons of experience for it. Oh my gosh, look at him. Look at him in his mushroom costume. I saw his giant zipper. Greetings, snitch. Here is the evidence of misdoings. Swell, this evidence is my ticket out of this candy-scented dump. Great. <laughs> Once it gets dark, I can make a break for the border. Now make like a tree and expel gases efficiently. I can't be seen with you. Now these uh, u unicorns are not like uh, orange health any anymore. Darn it, did I use that up that quickly? There we go. Just to get a little bit of extra experience. Okay, so... Okay, so we... Yeah, look how close we are to the end of this. It's crazy. Chanted wood of the chain long camera, bring it back to Rich Cabin. Okay, so... Rich Cabin wanted that. We gotta turn that into... A bit of demon. Let's, let's see where this would be. Wait, he mentioned I could find some in a stone circle beyond the wretched village. Oh, okay. I know where that is. Let's go turn in our Pluck Michael quest first. 
Bongolith Researcher, then we have the 50 tin cans. Greetings, Researcher. I have you reading from the Fungolith in the Enchanted Forest. Excellent. The data gathered is perfect. Thank you. All right, that was all of those. Let's go turn in our 50 tin cans. Hello again, Mayor of Pluckmuckle. I bring to you a payload of trash, Mayor. Oh, good work, Death Bank. My re-election is a sure thing now. All right, I bet. I bet. Hello again. Okay, so he's just looking for the orphans. Which we do not have all the orphans just yet. A okay, rich cabin, and then a bit of demon beyond the wretched village. I'll go turn in rich cabin first. Then I went. Then over. Then, then we'll do the wretched village. All right, where is rich cabin? There it is, rich cabins. Cabin for the rich. Greetings again, rich cabin. Here is the enchanted wood you requested. Oh, this wood is great. You can really taste the quality. Now I also want to start construction of a nine-hole golf course in the smelly swamp. But the swamp donkeys hate golf and all it stands for. Kill the donkeys and bring me their guts. What's with you and guts anyways? I lost mine as a child. Well, lucky for you, I've always hated swamp donkeys and all they stand for. Oh gosh, more quests. Here, I thought we were almost done. No. Lots more quests. Swamp Donkey. Yeah. I remember when, when when these things were pretty tough. Not anymore. Now they, now, now they just die in one hit. Now I'm pretty sure he's going to want us to also plant the the uh, golf golf posts into those holes there. Pretty sure he wants that too. There's our final swamp donkey. There we go. Swamp donkey innards. Rich cabin lost his as a child. I don't even want to know how. Well, at least with these quests, we can get experience to get to level 20. Because we are really, really close. There's also another achievement for killing 2,500... Uh, take a look. 82% complete the game. Oh gosh, I thought we were more... Main quest, okay, so... How many enemies killed? Oh, we're, we're really close to that next achievement there. Greetings again, Rich Kevin. Those swamp donkeys should no longer be a problem. Oh, fantastic. And I love these guts, by the way. And now that those filthy swamp donkeys are gone, we're clear to start work on the swampy golf course. Be my hero and stick these flags on the ideal green locations I've marked out. I'll stick your flags, Rich Kevin. Thank you, Death Spank. You're a true hero to the rich. Thank you. We got nine of these to implant. And we're really close to level 20. Does he not want to do anything about those exploding... Swamp goo monsters? I would think that would be a priority too, but no. Yee! Oh, oh no, the Swamp Donkey's revenge! Yee! Oh.
just as the dispenser achievement unlocked. Oh, we haven't been able to open this one yet. Zepping change runestone. Equip a melee nature weapon and a lightning rod. Okay. How many more of those do we need? We just need two more, it looks like. And they're probably in treasure chests that I'm not going to go back for, so... Yeah. I'm not going to really mess with it. Because I don't really use them anyway. Okay, four more. Yes, yes, we know. Yeehaw. How many more are there? I mean, would you want to play golf in this swamp? I mean, it's... it's gross. Quite nasty. Okay, one more. Where is it? Okay, I see it. Okay, hopefully that's everything Rich Cavern wants. If he wants more, then... Uh, <laughs> all these people with so many, so many side quests. Greetings again, Rich Cabin. I've planted your golf flags, Rich Cabin. I can't wait to play around to test the new course out. Great, he's done. Which means that's all that's left. A bit of demon. Let's let's go back to the wretched village and complete this final quest. It looks like there it is. Demon portal. Oh gosh. The Dark Lord. Oh gosh, darn it. I don't like when that happens. There we go. We got a bit of demon. Okay, wizard, you better be happy now. You have the longest quest so far. I don't know why he can't do this himself. Especially the one in his own backyard. Come on. He could have been doing that himself. If you ask for one more thing, I'm going to be really, really, really mad. Greetings, Wizard of Magic. I've got some smoking hot demon pieces for you. Now I can create a creature to kill off the other creatures I created. <laughs> oh, isn't it wonderful to create life to solve problems? Oh my gosh, he wants more. Greetings, Wizard of Magic. Oh dear! Creating a two-eyed Cyclops wasn't a very good idea after all. Stand aside, wizard. I'll slay the mutant beast. Whoa. Anything else? Anything we could do on it? No. I could probably use something on it. I guess let's try to poison him. What's the difference between these two? I guess it's just an excess. Let's try. Let's see, let's see if he, he can be poisoned.
Oh my gosh, he, he really packs a punch. I gotta be careful. And he's gonna be right there when I respawn, too. He's gonna kill the wizard. That's what he's gonna do. Get away from me. There's n n nature bolts that they do a lot of damage. There we go. The Biclops. Greetings, Wizard of Magic. I have killed the Biclops, Mighty Wizard. That better be it. Incredible. You've done it! Now to design the ultimate creature to clean this mess up. Oh, good. He has nothing more. Greetings, Wizard. What is your connection to these uh, creatures? No, oh, why talk about past mistakes? What's important is going forward to a better future with better monsters. Goodbye. Okay, looks like all of the loose ends have been cleared up. This is all that's left. 